Wonderful world of Disney. Tonight, on the wonderful world of Disney, Ferry of the Great St. Bernard. St. Bernard Pass, used for centuries to cross the Alps. Beautiful to look at, but full of danger and peril to the unwary traveler. And there were many travelers, for this was the time of Napoleon, who turned all of Europe into a battleground. 1802 was also the year in which a peaceful hero was born. A hero whose career was dedicated not to destroying lives, but to saving them. He was a St. Bernard, like this one, one of the famous breed of Alpine rescue dogs. Many were exceptional, but he was by far the greatest. His name was Barry. According to actual records, of all the dogs before or since, there was none to match him. He was truly a wonder dog. From the day he was born, before he was given his name or had opened his eyes, even as a tiny puppy, Barry often heard the alarm. It signaled another traveler in danger, another rescue attempt by the dedicated men and dogs of the hospice. Since the 11th century, when Bernard de Montfont, Saint Bernard, founded the order beside the mountain pass which also bore his name, thousands had been saved. Like the dogs, the monks of St. Bernard, called cannons, were well trained. Living at such high altitudes, they were prepared for the unstable elements, for blue skies that could turn into blinding storms in a flash, fierce winds that came howling out of nowhere, cold that cut like a knife, and dreaded most of all, on the slopes and cliffs high above, hanging overhead, waiting, the deadly avalanche. Tons of snow and ice that could let go without warning and destroy everything below. Yet always, despite the odds, the rescue attempt is made. This time, instead of one of the cannons, it is Julius, the kennel master, who goes. pathway above, the dogs are kept in readiness.
With the victim en route to safety and shelter, the men and dogs of the hospice have once more demonstrated their ability to conquer the wind, the cold, and the snow. As for the great St. Bernard, Barry, from birth, he is the most independent of his litter. So, like those outside, he goes adventuring inside. till the next one. You're a big one, huh? You open your eyes already? Good. Very good. I can see you, too. Hey, look at this. Not bad, huh? That's a handsome watch. Thank you. Was my father's. Suppose you put him away also. Julius, did, did you notice? He opened his eyes well ahead of the others, and he's half again bigger than they are. Aren't you? Are you? You little bear. Barry. 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 He looks like a little bear cub. Bear, Barry. It seems to fit. It's only a pet name. Our dogs are not pets, Martin. They are work dogs. We prefer to treat them all alike. No favorites. Julius? At once, father. Uh, remember, there are more in the litter than just this one. more besides you. Yes. But there's only one berry. Brother Fredo tells me one of the dogs warned him of treacherous snow just in time. It was Devo. A good dog, Devo. And well trained, like all your dogs. I only do what my father did before me. And how well does the Nurovis do, Julius? Martin? I gather you're not altogether happy with him. Julius, you know you need more help. Why, Father? I never have before. Are you saying I'm getting old? We all get old, especially up here. No, good friend, there is a better reason. A better reason, Father? Julius. How many times this month has our bell rang the alarm? The month is only half gone, and already we have rescued twice the travelers we did a year ago. It is a war, Father. Napoleon. Oh, yes, the war. We both know how war is. Armies march, and people are uprooted. Julius, you have too much to do. Martin will ease your task. He has a way with animals, doesn't he? He seems to. Of course, it's not my way. 
You noticed his watch? Yes. It seems very precious to him. Do you happen to know his last name? Last name? I never knew any Cannon's last name. True, true. Once we put on the rope, we leave last names behind. His last name is Kuan Yi. What difference? Kuan Yi? That, that was the name of, of the couple who died on the pass last winter. They were his parents. The watch was his father's. All Martin has left. He asked particularly to work with the dogs, to rescue others. He seeks some kind of revenge against the mountains. Revenge? There is no revenge against mountains. So I hope you will learn. So. Well? Well, it's not an easy task, Father. I suppose I can stand it, if he can. The puppies. He can work with the puppies. Good. They will be starting together, then. After all, it's a beginner, too. Even as a puppy, Barry shows a staying power remarkable in so small a dog. And obviously beyond the grasp of his classmates. Come over here. Here, Barry. In the difficult climb from very young to not quite so young, Barry manages to keep ahead of the pack. Stay. Barry, speak. 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 The St. Bernard is a natural retriever. Yet Barry is the only one of the dogs that knows he should be doing something with this strange object. He hasn't yet learned what, but he will. Go, Barry. The dog weighs nearly as much as the man, yet his feet do not sink in the snow like the man's, thanks to webbing between the toes of the forepaws. Big for his age and a quick learner, Barry soon carries his weight with much older dogs. Beautiful, bright day, isn't it? Yeah? What are you teaching him now? Oh, nothing. We were just playing this time. The others, they're inside? They're tying more easily than Barry. Julius, it's not only that he's bigger. He's smarter, too. It's a mistake to favor him. I try not to do so. Who can help it? They can't learn the way he does. They can't. I hope your own learning is going as well. My own? Oh. You mean my studies? Dogs are not the only ones here who must be tested. Unless you decide not to be a canon after all. Not only a cannon, Julius, but the second best dog trainer as well. But first, the studies. You must become a cannon first. Yes, I must learn Latin, history. It's not easy. You should use every spare moment you have. Right now, for instance, study, learn. I suppose you're right. Come on, Barry. <laughs> Barry. What's he looking at? Perhaps he's not as well trained as you say it. <laughs> there it is. 
There's nothing out there. Julius. A man. He looks drunk. Hurry. He'll be over the edge. Yes, he's snow blind. Go to the channel. Dog power is normally used to turn the roast on the spit taking this chore off the hands of the overworked kitchen staff. Hey, he does as well as a big dog. Doesn't seem to tire him at all. He enjoys it. <laughs> tired, tired old woman, that's what you are. Oh, a tired old woman. <laughs> uh, what's that spinning in there? Ah, <laughs> it's a dog. <laughs> Come on, puppy, faster. <laughs> Sir, please. <laughs> faster. <laughs> The dog is trained to turn it slowly. Ah, then I say it goes fast. Stop it! <laughs> Pete, stop it. Oh, hey, we are having a game. Stay away. Excuse me. Come on, Barry. Come on. Come on, Barry. Come on. Come on, boy. Hey! What do you think you're doing? I'm talking to you, you little... No, please, Barry. Julius, what is it? Sergeant, is there a problem? No problem, Father. <laughs> Just as my real dog. <laughs> if you frightened you, we are sorry. Frightened me? <laughs> Do you hear that, Duclo? <laughs> oh, no, 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 Father. He pleased me. <laughs> he should do more. He should attack. He should like to kill. <laughs> oh, no, sir. Barry won't kill anyone. He will when I get through with him. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, it's simple, Father. He's going with us. We'll turn him into a war dog. Hmm, Duclo? A real war dog. No, he's a rescue dog. You can't do that. Martin! Would you please? I'm afraid it's not possible, Sergeant. The dog is needed here. Ah? Uh, that's too bad. <laughs> Consider this one gone. <laughs> I am requisitioning him. In the name of the First Consul, Napoleon Bonaparte, I requisition this dog. No, get away from me. Martin! Him. Enough! Martin. You bring great shame to the Order. I'm sorry, Father. To raise a fist to anyone. You must apologize. I 
apologize, Sergeant. God forgive you. Now go to the chapel and do penance. Until first light. Yes, Father. Must we all stand idle? He's not here. Barry's not here. That's right, he's not. You mean the soldiers took him? Why are you so surprised? The sergeant said they wouldn't, they did. When did they take him? An hour or so ago. They were late in a hurry. You mean you were here when it happened? Julius. You mean you were here when it happened and you did nothing? I did nothing because there was nothing I could do. But Julius... Surely you understand that. Why else did you do penance? You did not sink in? Yes, I know. No violence, as the prior said. No force. But Julius, why bury? Why, of all the others they could have taken, why Barry? Martin, you became attached to him. I told you it was a mistake. It has always been a mistake to favor one dog. Become too close, and then suddenly he's gone. Just like Barry, lost in a rescue, taken away. You must treat them the same, all of them. Do you understand? Yes, I do. I do understand. Good. Now I suppose you give me a hand with this. Julius, I'd like to have a few minutes to myself outside. Go. Martin's trained eye, the tracks show a dog being dragged away, resisting. Mm-hmm. 
the summer festival. Farmers have driven their herds up here to the meadows of the high Alps for grazing. The hospice people have come down for supplies and reunions with old friends. <laughs> Even in 1802, the festival is an ancient, time-honored tradition. Since animals in herds almost always establish dominance by fighting among themselves, thus establishing a pecking order, the canny Swiss simply stage the contest for the entertainment of the onlookers. life at the hospice? Difficult, doctor, but good. Martin, I see you haven't taken your vows yet. Not for a long time yet, doctor. I'm still a novice. If you'll excuse me. Certainly. Excuse us, Julius. Please do. Goodbye. In the summer, the dogs are not idle. They are trained to carry heavy milk casks. But the famed brandy barrel is a myth, begun by an English painter with a vivid imagination. It's all full. Your journey. Hold on, Julius. Here's another one. Barry? It's not ready yet. He's too young. He's almost as big as the others. It requires practice, a sense of balance, especially up in the snow. Well, if he cannot handle it, we can remove it. At least let him try, Julius. Please. Very well. But if he falls on his face, don't blame me. All right. I promise. <laughs> Dogs adapt readily to the work they've been bred for. Even so, the ease with which Barry takes to his new task is notable. But what nearly brings disaster on this trip is not the inexperience of the dog, but the impatience of the master. Come on, Barry. That's it. Faster. It is an impatience Martin will regret. Are you crazy? What are you trying to do? 
Get to the hospice first. I told you he could do it. Yes. And the next thing he could do is go over the cliff. Get back where you belong and stay there. We'll talk about this later, Martin. Judgment. Judgment and discipline. Every time we are out there, it's full of danger. It's a matter of life and death. It's not enough to be young, bigger. You must use judgment. I know why you did this business with the Eckhart. You wanted to train Barry with the older dogs. And if he does well enough, you will want him to take a test to be a complete rescue dog. Yes. Yes, I confess, Jim. That's exactly why I did it. Will you let him try? Say, it's too young. You've said that already. Julius, I'm sure that... No! No, it's not what I was going to say, not this time. What is it between you and this dog? Some mysterious bond? Why? Because when you came here as an office, he was just born? Because... The first thing he saw when he opened his eye was you. Are you linked together forever? You and Barry? No! No. His judgment I worry about. Same as I worry about yours. Old dogs are smart. They have judgment. But Barry, I'm just not sure. Julius, isn't that what training is for? To teach judgment and discipline? Please. Down, Barry. Down, Lion. Down, Bellow. The average dog starts training for rescue work shortly before he is 17 Roll, months old. Lion. Roll, Barry. The crawling lesson is important. Roll, Bellow. With the body flat, the dog's weight is distributed lion, evenly Bellow. so that he can move across soft snowdrifts without sinking. Roll, Barry. Crawl, Lion. Crawl, Bellow. Barry, crow, stay, Barry! At times, the older dogs prove more patient than the eager Barry. When the rescue dog is fully trained, he will be able to scent, at a distance, a stranger who has been buried in the snow. He will seek and find the victim and start to dig him out even before his master arrives. But before he can accomplish this, he must go through a series of progressively harder tasks. One of these is the finding and retrieving of an object buried in the snow. In the early stages, as here, the object carries his master's scent. Later, it will have the scent of a stranger. Here, the dogs run to the hospice on command. Later, they will learn that in situations they can't cope with, they must, without command, return home for help. Find him! Find him! In this exercise, the dogs have progressed from finding a man lying on bare earth, to finding him covered with a little snow, then with more and more snow, until this stage, where he is completely covered over. with the crawling technique fully mastered, begins the painstaking, constantly repeated maneuver, which will eventually teach the dogs, after they have uncovered the victim, 
to stretch themselves close alongside or upon him in order to revive him with the warmth of their bodies. Closer. Closer. As the training proceeds, Barry proves himself able to compete on equal terms with the older dogs until this test of their ability to find a more deeply buried victim in unmarked snow. It is when his teammate loses interest that Barry proves he is not equal, but superior to all the others. Well, well what? You kissed your fingers, didn't you? It was for Barry, wasn't it? Not necessarily. Julius. He did everything that was asked of him, as well as the others. Now the test is two weeks off. You must let him take it, please. Must! Let me remind you, your own test is coming up. I suggest you pay more attention to that. <coughs> In saving the man, the dog is buried. Quickly, help me. Uh, uh, is on Barry, isn't it? A good part of it, Father. My son, I told you, it is not necessary that you take the test now. It can wait for another time. I just assume. No, Martin, I am serious. You will take many more before you can be considered for your vows. It would be a shame. I'm finished, I... Father. What? I said I'm finished. But you finished so quickly. You would like more time? No. Thank you, Father. As a matter of fact, I did hurry because of Barry. But I think I did well anyway. Now, with your permission, Father, I'll get back to him. You may go. Is he all right? All right. He's fine. He was stunned. The shock, that's all. He came to an hour ago. An hour ago? Why didn't you tell me? And interfere with your test? Uh, speaking of tests, he should be well enough by tomorrow to take his. Let's hope all he's done hasn't been knocked out of him. Before he can qualify as a full-fledged rescue dog, the St. Bernard must be able to locate a stranger deeply buried under an overhang after all evidence of his presence has been carefully concealed. He will accomplish this while working with his master. The final step, which will come later, will require him to duplicate the feat alone without his master. At that point, the dog will have at last learned that his mission is to find anyone buried under the snow.
The signal is relayed over the crest of the hill to the faraway rescue party. He's in the cave. Let's get ready. We'll keep them on leash for a while. With my signal, we we'll release them. The rest is up to them. We're ready. Now, Martin, it's no disgrace to fail. To find a man somewhere buried behind snow. A stranger who sent is unfamiliar. At the best, it's difficult. Especially for a young dog. Not for Barry. Just keep him on the leash. When time comes, Lion and Bellow can go alone. He'll do well, Julius. I know he will. All right. But don't be too disappointed. If they leave him behind, he'll... under the snow, perhaps a rabbit. Something has led him off the track of the man he was supposed to find. documented fact that St. Bernard's have been able to detect the scent of a human at a distance of more than a mile. Julius, he's found something. What is it, boy? Lion and Bellow tomorrow. But Julius, what about Barry? Barry didn't fail. Fail? Who says anything about failing? He did something better than a test. He made a rescue. Yes, yes. 
And did you notice when we got there, he did everything perfectly? With your help. Oh, come on, Julius. For once admitted, he did it perfectly. Hey, you saw him? Hey, did you see him? and celebrate. I'll go and help Brother Fredo. All right. Come on, Barry. I'll go tell Angelo that Barry made his first rescue. Martin. He still has to learn to work alone. By himself. Without you. If he ever does, 